Hey, what's up guys? It's Arlie and I'm here with another video. Today's video, we are going to talk about Gabby Hanna. Gabby Hanna. So, you guys know the girl who's made those music videos. Um, they're pretty good. Uh, she's made... She started off on Vine. Yeah, she started off on Vine. Made all these crazy stupid videos on Vine. Got viral. Moved that audience to YouTube and then had to build her audience on YouTube. And... I mean, everything's just been going well. Now... <laughs> She's like what I like to call part of the Vine invasion of YouTube. Because, you know, back in 2017, 2016, 20, some of 2018, Viners were like the biggest creators on the platform. They basically invaded the platform and took a lot of the viewership. Um, because they could just move some big audiences that they made elsewhere from YouTube and and then the algorithm just promoted them instantly once they brought all those people over and started consistently uploading. So Gabby Hanna, she's part of that Viner Invasion. I would say she's like early Viner Invasion YouTuber, gen, uh, fourth generation YouTuber. Um, and like I said, that's when, because here's the thing, the first and second generation of YouTubers, they're not perfect people. No one's perfect by any means, but they had morals, and they were quirky people, they were weird, they were nerdy, you know, they were just like, people didn't find YouTube cool in the beginning, people was like, this is lame, why are people making videos, now everyone wants to make videos and make money, I see the new YouTubers, the newer ones coming up, as people who are just trying to manipulate the platform, and you, in that, in that process, you get a lot of bad actors. I mean, I'm saying you get a lot of people who have malicious intent with power. Because influence is power. YouTube gives people influence. Anybody can get on here and upload 50, like, I swear, you can, if you can do your research, anyone can be successful and grow a following on YouTube. It's not hard. I mean, it's hard, but it's not hard. It's mentally hard where you have to put in all this research, you have to create thumbnails, you have to upload a certain amount um, every day, and it's not hard, but I will say this, I will, I will say this, doing YouTube, right, you, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, you want everybody to be on the same playing field, but they're not. Some people would do things dirty to get ahead, and some people um, will do it the right way. You know, but everyone wants it quick. Gabby Hanna is a drama queen, and she, 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 she's different because when you look at her, you won't think that she's like that type to be a drama queen. And she's 28 years old which I'm still trying to wrap my head around why she's acting like a little fucking child. But Trisha Paytas just exposed her. And she needs to leave Trisha Paytas alone. She keeps going around in the YouTube industry saying that she has STDs. Okay, that's not your fucking business. I don't care if she has gonorrhea. It's not your fucking business, Gabby. You're fucking 28 years old, right? You're 28? What's going on? What's your problem with Trisha? I want to know. Trisha, she's not the sharpest, sharpest uh, piece of wood in the shed. I'm not going to say that she's a bad person. I don't know Trisha. I don't too much care, you know? Um, if she has an STD, guess what? I don't too much care. I don't even know her. I, based on what, you know, Trisha said in her video, She's only met you on two occasions for a couple of seconds. So why are you talking about her? And even if Trisha's asked a question about her, it seems to me Trisha has never talked any shit about you. She said she liked your videos, liked your music. But you, you're asking about her and talking shit. I don't get it. 
what I think is Gabby wants to destroy other careers. I'm not saying she's going to benefit from destroying Trisha's career. She just wants to because she doesn't like her. It's the same thing with Rice Gum. I think Rice Gum made a diss track on Gabby. Uh, and that was hilarious. I, I got to admit. She says she got a long note, a big nose, or something like that. One of his songs, his diss tracks he used to make. Ever since she has not liked Rice Gum, she did... She did try to come back and write them a couple of times, especially at a party. And then she completely lied and tried to say that he abused her, which is not true. All he did was break her phone, which was wrong. And he admitted, but she tried to get him in jail, like, for domestic abuse. That's bullshit. And after that, he just can't really trust Gabby Hanna, dude. How, how do you trust Gabby Hanna? You can't. No one, and then she goes on fucking the Philly D show, Philly DeFranco show. He's a fucking, fuck him, honestly. I stopped watching him. I used to watch him. I used to love his stuff. Now I barely watch him. Because I can see right through his bullshit. Like, I don't know. I don't really know him. Like I said, but why would you have someone on a show that tried to do that? Maybe it's for professional. Ah, I, I won't hold it against them because maybe it's just a professional collab. But dude, it's it's wild. Gabby, you have clearly shown you can't be trusted, and get and and Trish is right. Gabby, you can't be trusted. Hell, didn't you change your name? You even changed your name from Gabby Hanna, from me, from the Gabby show to Gab Gabby Hanna. You keep getting plastic surgery, keep changing your image. You care what people think about you. You care so much about what people have to say. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know if anyone can, like, fucking help you. This, I don't know. The YouTube game is changing. Dude. It's changing. This shit's becoming corrupt like the music industry and Hollywood. Like, dude, I wouldn't be surprised if I started hearing people, girls... Get, having sex with other male YouTubers just to get some followers on YouTube so they can make money online. Like, this is where we're at. We're in that stage of an uh, industry that's becoming corrupt. And the people who first started got on here so they can build something or just have fun and make it a hobby. It's getting out of control. I see why the FTC is coming in and trying to protect children online. This shit's getting wild, bro. The internet is getting wild. It's this shit is getting wild, bro. It's crazy. Not to say actually I don't know what to say. <laughs> but I hope, you know, Gabby, you hear this. You're twenty eight years old, right? I like, fucking stop. Don't you have something else better to do with your life? Does your life revolve around YouTube? I do YouTube. I don't take it super seriously, you know. Uh, I probably will here in the next couple of months. But clearly there's an issue. You know? There's got to be. There's too much shit going on. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much. Make sure you donate. Check out all my social media. Uh, thanks to Matthew, man. You can see his donations down below. Make sure you guys subscribe to Trisha Paytas because that's where I got the idea for this video from. And uh, just, I don't know, check out the other videos on my channel. Um, I talk about all kinds of things. Sometimes I talk about drama like this. Usually not. I just react to videos I want to react to. 
uh, and peace.